Hola, hola, beautiful yogis, wherever you're at. Happy New Year, prospero año nuevo. <laughs> it is the morning of January 1st. There is the cutest little bird on my phone right now. I think it's a little finch. Um, <laughs> this is gonna, I'm hoping it'll like pop up in the video in a second, but it's really cute. I feel like that's a blessing of some sort. So I am super happy to be here. I'm really excited for this new year. And no matter what, even though like it's just a literal change of date on paper, I feel like because of that, because there's like this huge celebration of that too, and all the like stirrings in the air, you know, after the winter solstice and everything, that it does give a new surge of energy, a charge, an electrifying, like motivational something, surge of something, something good. And I always get really excited around this time of year. And yeah, so I hope whatever your intentions are for this year, um, I, I hope that, you know, you, you find something to work towards this year, whatever it is, even if it's something small, even if it's just practicing with me, you know, every once in a while here on YouTube or in person or via Zoom, that's, freaking wonderful or even if it's just being more present with your family or you know taking time to enjoy some really yummy food every single day taking time to show yourself that you're grateful for yourself because you're amazing whatever it is okay I'm gonna be quiet now just kidding I'll keep talking but I'll be quiet about this stuff and I just hope that you know you have such a freaking beautiful New Year's Day wherever you're at and maybe it's the next day if you're in another part of the world but wherever you're at. so let's begin in a comfortable seat maybe close the eyes if you'd like to grab some props whether it's a block a yoga strap bolster pillows put some music on set the scene set the tone for yourself and just start to settle in slowing down the racing thoughts by replacing them with a focus on each breath in and each breath out. Each breath in and each breath out. Noticing the sounds and the smells around you. Noticing the warmth in your body, the tenderness in your body. And for today's practice and for all of today, keeping in mind the Sanskrit term satya, truthfulness, honesty, the real of the real. So as we move together today, being honest with where you're at, being honest with what feels good, being honest with where you're, you're moving towards, what you're moving towards, what your goals are. And then extending that out, being truthful with others, not pretending to be someone you aren't, but reveling in the beauty and the magic that you already are. And breaking both hands to the belly. We're gonna do two pranayama breath cycles here together. Breathing in through the nose for four, three, two, one, hold. Exhale out of the mouth for eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out. Inhale through the nose for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it in. Exhale out of the mouth for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one one and just breathe naturally now 
start to rub the palms together, make a little heat. Let's bring some fire into this life. And place them over the eyelids, opening and closing. Allowing the light to come through, release your hands down, and we're gonna meet in a tabletop position. So getting comfortable there, maybe working out the wrist first before finding your tabletop position. And then start to move with your breath through some cat cows, taking a few rounds, giving them the spine a nice massage. Inhale, lifting the heart, exhale, rounding. Breathing in, breathing out. One more round, inhales, lift. Exhales, round. Good. And then coming back to your neutral spine, strong core. Take that left hand, sweep it up, and then bring the left hand behind your head. Open your heart. Maybe taking the gaze up with you. Exhale, try to bring your left elbow and crunch it towards the right thigh, so the opposite thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch it under. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch it under, but this time we're going to thread the needle coming onto your left shoulder, left cheek, sending the sit bones high. And the more that you press into your right fingertips, it'll open the heart more to the sky. So you're in control of how much of a stretch you'd like here. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, release left hand down. And today, I don't know if I mentioned it, maybe I did, I talk a lot. It's gonna be more of a Hatha style flow. All levels welcome. Right hand sweeps up. Right hand comes to the back of the head. Gaze lift. Oh, I can't stop admiring this beautiful desert sky. Exhale, right arm crunches under, trying to touch left thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch. This time, thread the needle. Take your right hand under, coming onto your right cheek, right shoulder. And now this left hand, your left fingertips are in charge of how much of a twist you get. And you can even take the left hand overhead. You can take it behind you, catching the opposite hip. Just being mindful of the shoulders and how much of a stretch you'd like. And left hand comes down. Find that tabletop again. Good. R right leg sweeps back. Nice. And then draw it in knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lift. This time being very mindful of the hip squaring rather than opening. Flex the toes, press through that heel. And then draw it in knee to nose. Taking shoulders over wrists, holding. Send it back. And then this time, as you lower the right toes down, we're going to pivot so our left foot comes off the mat. And you might need to look at the video here. That's OK. And then you're going to plant your right foot down and rise up to a big P with your arm. Good. From here, take a generous bend in that right knee. And you're going to point your toes away from you. Right forearm is going to come to right thigh. Left arm swings up and over and just kind of pulse here. Yeah. And then be mindful drawing that left shoulder back behind you. Soften the face. Feel the sunshine on their face. Okay, it might be imaginary sunshine. That's okay. You know the feeling. And then hold with a generous bend in that knee. Strong core. <laughs> My strong core, I'm not going to lie, is filled with a lot of really yummy cookies. Okay, we're going to rise up. Big T arms. Cartwheel your hands back to the front of your mat. And inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, round. And then reset. Other side, left leg extends back. Square the hips. Press through that back heel. Pull the navel up. 
draw it in, need to know. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch it in. Hold it here. Really round in the upper back. Think of that cat shape. Extend it back. And then lower the left toes down. Swivel right toes off the mat. Plant left foot down. Rise up to that big T. Once again, if you get confused here, those are funky instructions. Just take a little gander up here. And... There we go. From here, bend in that left knee. Point the toes away. Left forearm to thigh, lots of rights and lefts as usual. Right arm sweeps up and over, and then taking some pulses here, reveling in the stretch in that inner left thigh. And then hold with a nice bend. We're really scooping the heart up towards the sky like a beautiful offering. Inhale, come up to that T. Exhale, cartwheel, hands down, tabletop, downward facing dog, pedal it out. Good. I'm not wanting this flow to be too long, but you know me. With all of my talking, it probably will be. Press through the palms. Gaze in between your hands. Step to the front of your mat. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana. And yes, I'm totally wearing bell bottoms. These things are coming back in. I got to keep up with the high schoolers. I am into it. I feel like I am 12 again. I love it. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. So fingertips press into your shins, shoulders pull back. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back with your right leg. Lower right knee down gently. And rise up to your low lunge, Anjane Asana. If your balance is feeling a little bit wobbly today, just bring your hands to that left thigh. Start to engage both glutes, soften the shoulders. Feel the strength in your legs, your strength. You're so strong. And breathe out. Inhale, exhale, hands come down, lift back knee, step back, down dog. And we're just going to switch sides. Right leg is going to step forward, right foot forward. You might need to pull it up there. That's okay. Gently lower left knee down, rise up, low lunge. Same thing if on this side it's a little wobbly, just bring your hands to that right thigh. Squeeze the leg. Flower your front toes. Same thing on this side, strong core. Breathing in, breathing out. Feel the body here. Cartwheel hands down. We're gonna step it forward, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana, hands by your sides. If you feel like running through that Hatha Surya Namaskar again, please, please do. And just restart from where we started and do it again. If not, you're ready to move on. Here we go. From the top of your mat, you're going to take a big step with the left foot facing the side now. So we're on the long, facing the long edge of our mat. Point the toes out, hands sweep up. So you're like in this five-pointed star or starfish shape. And then we're going to move into our warrior two facing the front of the mat. Yeah. Roll the shoulders down. Notice the legs real strong here. We're going to spend some time. Press through that outer edge of your back foot. Generous bend in that front knee. And then we're not going to worry about our hands anymore. So bring your hands to fists but bring them to the lower back and I'll show you from the back. Some little fists there. With your little fists at your lower back, press your lower back into those fists and it's gonna engage the lower part of your abdominal muscles to kick into gear a little bit. And softening, it'll naturally soften the arch that we'll have, we sometimes have in our lower back. 
just breathe here. If you need to come out of it, come out of it, and then just come right back. Ah, feel the warmth in those legs. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Open your arms wide again. Reverse your triangle so the legs stay just how they are. Crawl that back hand down your back leg. Scooping the heart again up to the sky. Exhale, come back. T arms. Bump back leg up just a little bit. Triangle pose. If you have your block, bring it to the inside or the outside of your front foot for your hand. Or just take your hand and crawl it down your front leg. Other arm sweeps up or just comes to the hip. Really engaging your obliques here. Strong lift, so you're pretty light in your bottom hand. And you can even check it out. You can see how much weight you're putting in that bottom hand by moving it. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, we're going to pivot to face the back of your mat, warrior two. Open arms, open hips. Front knee is going towards pinky toe so you can still see your front big toe. And you don't have to memorize any of this. I'll tell you it over and over until your body remembers it naturally. So don't worry. Take your hands to fists. Bring it again to the lower back. Press into your hands. Pull the elbows back, gaze to the left. Strong warrior. But being, remember, what part of what makes a person super strong is their truthfulness, their honesty. Are they living by their morals, by their beliefs? Are they who they say they are? Are you who you say you are? Not how can you honor more of who you are and who you want to be? Straighten front leg, open your arms like a T. Reverse your triangle, left arm sweeps up, back hand crawls down, back leg. Inhale, come up, T your arms, step back leg up just a little. Reach forward and down. If you have your block, move it to the left foot, to the outside or the inside. If not, just crawl your left hand down that left leg. Other arm reaches up or bring it to the hip. Whichever allows for you to get more openness in that right shoulder by drawing it back. And then same thing on this side. Notice if the obliques are kicking in by lifting the left hand and kind of swinging it. See how much weight you're putting into that bottom hand. <laughs> Dial that top hip back. Ooh, it's a nice stretch in that right side. It's a little burner. Inhale, come up. Exhale, we're going to point both feet out. Five-pointed star. Hands to heart center. Goddess legs and just kind of shimmy here. Pull. Get a little movie, groovy, movie. I definitely had a decent amount of, amount of yummy, delicious coffee this morning. So, if you haven't had your coffee yet, I encourage that. Coffee is magic. <laughs> Inhale, rise up, reach up, straighten arms and legs. Cartwheel hands back to the front of your mat. Step back, down dog. Let's take five breaths here. If you need to come onto your knees, come onto your knees or take a child's pose. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In, out. In, out. In, let it go. Take a child's pose. You can have hands out in front of you or by your sides. Softening the whole body. 
And we're actually going to end in this child's pose. As always, you can add anything else that you need here, maybe an up dog, or come onto your back, child's pose, bridge, spinal twist, whatever feels natural and like you're really, really wanting it as part of your practice. Please do that. Do what you need. But honestly, listening to what, what, what your soul is asking for, what your heart is asking for, what your body is asking for. Five breaths, wherever you're at. Beginning to soften all of the muscles we just engaged in our body. Relaxing our eyebrows, our eyelids, our cheekbones, your lips. And then coming up into a comfortable seat or keep pausing here and keep moving with your practice. And I just want to thank you all so much for joining me on this journey that I started with you all in 2023. And I'm really excited to see what happens with 2024 and share more here. And as always, if you have requests, please um, put them in the comments or if you comment anything that you want to add i want you to feel heard and feel like you are a part of this community because you are i wouldn't be here if you weren't thank you so much and i hope that you have a beautiful blessed day with your loved ones with your dog with yourself uh yeah with your friends and this little bird is just having so much fun with my phone i uh, maybe i'll take a little picture and post it somewhere on here because he's just too cute namaste Thank you so much. You're amazing.